What up? What's up guys, it's Bishop here with a quick video update. I said to you guys, hey, I'm not gonna make another video. I did my ACL, MCL uh, video recovery journey for weeks five and six and said, look, I'm having surgery May 11th and so I won't do another video until post-surgery. However, my doctor calls and says, hey, and I said, hi doctor. And then we carried on, like, how are you? They said, good, how are you? Great, okay. So, so far our conversation's going, you know, pretty, pretty normal. Then they say something, hey, guess what? Your insurance approved your surgery to be sooner than the 11th. Say, what? Yeah, they said, yeah. So I said, okay, cool. When is it? May 4th. When's May 4th? Carry the one, that's tomorrow. Tomorrow I am having surgery on my ACL, PCL, MCL, uh, meniscus tears. However, the MCL potentially has healed. Um, and so we'll, we'll see. He'll, you know, he'll tell me, obviously, after the surgery. And maybe I'll... Um, get some video or pictures of me there. Uh, people say, hey, are you nervous? Am I nervous? Well, let me tell you something. When you're averaging 18 views per video on YouTube, nation worldwide, 18 views, you nervous to go anywhere in public. I'm nervous. I'm nervous to, to walk outside. People, yo, that's a cat with 18 views. Yo, bish. What's up? Can I get your like autograph and stuff? Because you're like so cool and, and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, sure, you know, you were the 17th view, no way, oh, that's sick. Um, life of an unpopular kid, hashtag. Uh, but no, seriously, am I nervous? No, like, I know, I know, obviously, God's on the throne, so it's like, boom, you know that? Okay. Like, okay, well then, what are you nervous or worried about? Like, I, I get worried and nervous about other things, like, in life, you know, I'm always you know, cure, you know, making sure people drive somewhere careful and making sure they get there safely. And part of that, my past is kind of, you know, I had a girlfriend get hit and killed by a drunk driver um, back in 2007. And so since then, rainy day or not, it could be a beautiful sunshine day and the road conditions could be great. It could be three in the morning or it could be noon. I'm always like, Hey, do you make it okay? Like it just, it may, you know, it just, it's like a mental thing, a hurdle that I'm not fully over. So something like this, am I, am I nervous about? No. Like I understand that God is sovereign. Everything happens for a reason. However, I will tell you something crazy. Um, and this can, this can relate to surgery. Um, and so shout out to Drewski as well. He wrote me saying he's going through something similar as well. So I appreciate that. Um, but so the doctor's appointment the other day, I, long story short, I was kind of, I made a boneheaded move and I was like, you know what, I'm going to drive. It was, it was kind of like, I thought the best decision to do given the circumstance. Well, so I get in and this is my left foot, my right foot's fine. So I'm able to use the pedal or whatever. On the way out there, car in front of me blows out their tire. The rubber shoots up in the air from the tire, hits the, hits the road at like 65 splits kind of in two i dodged the bigger piece but i hit the the smaller piece and it just rips through my bumper and my grill takes the grill completely off and actually took off the back bumper but it was dragging i was able to snap that back in well i get to the doctor's office obviously i'm a little disappointed because i'm i, I didn't know how bad it was till i got there and i was like you know <laughs> as a bummer my my bumper is cracked in half now gonna have to figure out how to get my car to the dealership or get some estimates on all this and it's like a four hundred dollar estimate well medical bills they ain't cheap buh so i was like how's this gonna work but here but here's something whether we're going through surgery whether we're we're going post-op and we're and we're in some pain together if you're going through something like this and you're through recovery and, and you're just taking the steps is that sure my my bumper was my bumper was 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 off my front bumper was cracked my grill was off my knee i'm gonna have surgery on it but god's on the throne okay so what's that mean well god's on the throne what what is the big deal the grill thing sure financially it stinks so what do i do i get some gorilla tape and i tape my bumper i built a fence with my neighbor in my backyard that has like that chicken wire so I was able, because I'm immobile, I'm sitting down, you know, and, I, and I'm just cutting this, just sitting down, taping it, zip tying it, and I made my own grill and threw it on my car. Now you can't even tell a difference. Save money, innovative. Now, of course, that's not always going to be the case, but whatever I can do right now just to get by, it's like, look, it's not that big of a deal. It's a car. It's, 
it's a materialistic object that means nothing eternally. You know, this knee, it isn't me, it isn't my soul, it isn't my identity, the surgery isn't me. This is a, it's a setback in the grand scheme of things and it has prohibited me of doing different things. However, it, like I said in my last video, it doesn't define me. Like I'm gonna have surgery, Lord willing, and everything goes great and recovery goes great. And then, and then what? Like this is just a minor, small, I don't even wanna use the word season of my life because it's not even that long. It's just, uh, well, because of how it's worked, it has been like three months or four, which is technically a season. But you know what I'm saying? Like injuries as a whole compared to your life, you know, 27, almost 28 years, you're looking at that two months, and if you you put you put all your weight and all your worth into that, then what you're doing is is you're letting that you're idolizing that moment to to like define you. Like you're you're all of a sudden having conversations that were like, well, before before my injury, that I was like this, or well, now after my, you're always going back to that, even though it's a significant thing, and even though it's a setback, and even though you may not be able to do. I may not be able to do the same things that I did before. Praise God, because he's still on the throne and it's okay. Sure, if I can't, you know, play basketball like I used to, as hard as I used to, will it be discouraging? Absolutely, because I used it as a good tool to connect with people. But now, now what? Now what? Now all of a sudden, I'm making videos like this that I never would have made before. And I have cats reaching out to me saying, bro, Thank you so much for doing this. Had this not happened, I'm not connecting with different people. I'm not connecting to this guy named Chris that hit me up. And it's like, bro, I was like giving up on hope. Like I was giving up on hope the night of my injury because I wasn't going to be able to play baseball anymore. And I was like, and how does how does that happen? How, how does that, how, how does some of these other people that have messaged me, and some of them, you know, I've said, can I share this story? They're like, no, please keep it between us. So, I can, y'all, I can't even stress how much, no matter what happens in your life, you can impact others who are going through, I mean, that's Second Corinthians, you're just going to throw that out there, Second Corinthians 1, whatever you're going through in life, whether it be a suffering child, you use it to connect with other people that are going through a similar thing, or maybe you've gone through it, like, you know how many people I've connected with about drunk drivers, and people getting hit, and passing away? Because that and now, but if I let that issue define me and I never get out of that, then then that's then that's my identity and I'm not where I am today. You you just can't let circumstances in life define you, set you back, and paralyze you. You've got to just man or woman up and just take them head on, fight it, and then boom, get out of it. Don't let it define you. Just fight it. Okay, you're your own unique person. You're doing your own things. God has given you a platform and a purpose, and you've and you've got to realize that everything that happens is a part of His plan. Don't question it. It's a part of His plan. It's for greater good. It's working for good for the glory of God. Whether it might not make sense, like some things in my life have not made sense, but I got I just got to hang on to that truth. And when you hang on to that truth, you get messages from like. Chris, or you get messages from this girl, Christina. She said I could share her story. She was skiing, got in a bad accident, um, tore her uh, PCL, MCL, almost the same injury. It was like PCL, MCL, ACL, and LCL maybe. I can't, forgive me, I forget. But it was like it was like three or four, like every ligament was torn. And so she said the night, or the next night after it happened, she wrote me a message, she was looking on YouTube, found my video, saw the verse out of John that I shared that's what, about Jesus and Peter and washing his feet and where it says, look, Jesus is like, bro, you don't understand what I'm doing now, but later you will. She was like, that resonated with me so much, Andrew, because I didn't understand. And she was like, and I, my faith right now, I just really don't know what to believe. But by you saying that, it made me believe that I don't understand right now why this is happening. And then this is what she said. Christy, and you're, you're an inspiration, okay? So she said, but maybe it happened when she was skiing to avoid a worse injury from happen had she continued down the slope. So maybe just tearing ligaments was far better than maybe her life 
or something. And so and she's put in she's put in that perspective and sending it to me. You talk about being encouraging. That's that's encouraging. We never have this conversation if this doesn't happen. These people that I've named, never do I communicate with them because the injuries aren't there, whatever. But it, it's amazing. Just think about that for a little bit, guys. Sorry, this video was long. Surgery's tomorrow. Keep me in your prayers. I'm going to rock my bishop shirt in there. I'm going to be signing no autographs. And uh, yeah, it's going to be great. Love you guys.